y'all, it's Hannah here. Um, I am really excited to share this video with you today. It is a mini series that I released to my Facebook and Instagram pages just a couple weeks ago. And I was talking about the differences between a violin and a fiddle, which you'll uh, see that I don't actually think that there's a difference between the two of them um, as far as the instrument goes, but there are certain traits of the instrument that make it seem more like a violin or more like a fiddle. So I wanted to share this little series with you. I did upload it on different days um, and I recorded it on different days. So it's, even though it's all in one package for you all here, it is gonna sound a little weird with the, oh hey, here I am today and welcome to day two, welcome to day three. So it's all in one package for you. You can save it to your watch later playlist or you can watch it now if you like, and I hope that you enjoy. The most common question that I get is, what is the difference between a violin and a fiddle? Well, the short answer is they are the same instrument, but this week I want to go through three kind of more general differences that I've noticed between violins and fiddles. So the first one today is genre. So you've got three different types of music. You've got your folk music, you have art, and then you have popular music. So a violin is going to fit more in with the art form or the popular form. And by art, I mean classical, jazz, something that you would um, be putting more of a show on and there's a clearer barrier between audience and artist. Whereas fiddle, you typically see it in um, folk traditions, uh, traditional music, world music, um, that sort of thing. So it's more community based. What is the difference between a violin and a fiddle part two? Yesterday I covered genre and today I'm going to transition over into mood. So violin makers or luthiers, they actually create instruments to fit violinists or fiddle players. So a, um, a classical violinist might want an instrument that has more of a bright, clear sound that's gonna just cut right across an audience um, and fill up the auditorium with their magnificence. Yes, I'm going to throw that in as much as I can because I love that phrase. Um, while a fiddle player wants, usually wants more of a dark or mellow tone. Honestly, if a classical violinist wants this tone, they will probably end up switching to viola. Just a fact. But um, fiddles kind of like that more mellow tone, you know, they're playing in pubs, in community halls, busking on the streets, that kind of thing. I thought I was going to keep these a little shorter, but I had to add on. So when I bought my two instruments, the first one I bought I intended to be more of a classical violin and the second one I intended more for fiddling so I was actually going in and looking for a specific sound to my instrument and it can get very particular and very picky but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload a couple stories later today of me playing both of my violins or my violin and my fiddle technically um, and I will just demonstrate that difference for you guys so you can kind of hear more about what I'm talking about. So thank you for listening. Um, stay tuned. Uh, tip three is coming your way on Thursday. Okay guys, this is my classical violin here. Uh, I've played it as a fiddle for many, many years. Um, and I'm just uh, showing you the differences between my two uh, instruments. So here is the classical version. <laughs> one and I've got the fiddle one coming up next. This is my fiddle. I specifically went into the Huffmaker's shop and I asked if I could play their fiddles or the um, instruments that fiddle players prefer and I found this one so um, the rest is history but you'll hear the the difference between the two I think. <laughs>
have one more uh, general difference between violins and fiddles that I'm going to share with you this week. So that is posture. Now this gets a little nitpicky, so I'm going to go ahead and just show you what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to do both of these from a seated position. Um, this is going to be more of your classical look here. So you get it up on the shoulder, you have your bow hold, it's very kind of square and set. And you're also very open. It's again, you're sharing this music with an audience and you're filling the room with your sound. Whereas a fiddle player, it's going to be a little bit more introspective, which kind of goes along with some traditional music. It's less about the performer and more about the story that's being told. So you're focusing more on the instrument than the posture. So if I were sitting in an Irish pub, I might, you know, have my legs crossed and just kind of Got my elbow tucked in here, holding the fiddle down, and just doing that. You know, there's some uh, Texas fiddle players that hold it down here and they fiddle. I have no idea how they do it, but that's because I'm not a Texas fiddler. And there's a whole bunch of different ways um, that you'll see fiddles held. You know, they can be out, they can be, it's very loose, and I'm just like looking like this. It's just kind of more relaxed in a way. So those are some differences that I've noticed. I hope you found these helpful and thanks for tuning in this week, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked this discussion format or would like to see more teaching tips or tunes in particular, let me know in the comments below and I will get to work on creating that content for you all. Please like and share this video, subscribe to my channel if you are not already subscribed, and also consider signing up for my email list. There's a link in the description of this video that will take you to my website where you can directly sign up from there. And I would love to welcome you into my community where I share my latest music projects and keep you all updated on what's going on. So thank you all so much for watching and hope you have a great day.